So, um, come winter time, and you know, you'll see these plastic tubs of uh, fermented vegetables at the market, and you'll wonder, sort of, what is that? Well, these are naturally fermented vegetables that are probiotic rich, and um, basically, they all you have to do to make these, if you want to try it yourself, is you take um, salt put it in water and then submerge vegetables in the water and um, the bacteria will do the rest and this um, is a traditional way of preserving food over the winter now it's April and this is um, the person who usually sells it to me at Zeleny Venets and I've been coming here for about three years now um, and basically yeah it's a great way to get your nutrients during the winter and also you know I'm, it's April end of April and she's still got some but We've discussed many times, this might be the last time I buy it. So I bought about two kilos of the salad stuff, which is all the vegetables mixed together. And, um, you know, the fresh vegetables are starting to come out now. But, um, you know, all winter I've been eating this stuff. Um, it's called Turshia, or Zimnica, na, na in Serbian language. And um, basically fermented vegetables. I mean, if you ever take antibiotics, afterwards you should really eat some fermented vegetables to replenish your gut flora of healthy bacteria. And, you know, I really like eating the fermented vegetables along with um, goat's cheese, um, ground up almonds, and dried meat, like um, the high quality dried meats like uh, parachut or pechenica uh, that you find here, or suvivrat. <laughs> Um, one of my favorites and you can buy those in the in the supermarkets uh, in 100 gram packets And you just put it on top of the fermented veg vegetables maybe with a little bit of olive oil And that's a great way to get your nutrients in the winter I don't have to say it many times, but you know here It's a seasonal sort of food plan because most of the food is local and it doesn't grow in the winter but this is the traditional method of preserving it over the winter. And you can't buy this at the supermarkets. Maybe the cabbage, but most of the st this stuff you can't buy. You can't buy a fermented cauliflower, fermented mixed salads, and all that stuff at the supermarkets. You have to come to the market, and you have to um, get somebody who specializes in this, for lack of a better term, because it is an art. And you can buy it and keep it in your fridge for a long time. Um, as you see, these are the vegetables for last year that have been naturally preserved over the winter, just like generations and generations of people in this region have done for a long time. Those who like Asian cu cuisine will know that fermented vegetables are also big there with kimchi and all that stuff, um, but the European equivalent is very tasty. And it's not just sauerkraut, it's not just cabbage, it's all sorts of vegetables here in Serbia that they do this with. So, I would imagine lots of you won't have the opportunity to try it before next October November season but um, I would highly recommend that when that comes around you do get some fermented vegetables for your health and wellness and interesting flavors in the meal I also make stews with them um, you know if you take meat and stew it and then during the process of slow cooking it throw in some fermented vegetables it adds, adds that sort of tangy flavor and um, an interesting texture as well so fermented vegetables are the way to health and thank you for continuing to watch the Food in Serbia series. Um, I'm going to take my two kilos of fermented vegetables home. And so I can enjoy because I was recently taking anti antibiotics and I have to replenish my gut flora. So, other way to do that, you can buy probiotics at the store, but this is the natural way, the historical method. Thanks a lot for watching live from Zeleny Venets Piazza.